Hi, Professor Fode here with another J Tools. This one is on quick ways to keep up with the news. It might be that you're producing a newscast today in one of your classes, or maybe your professor is just going to give you a current events quiz, and you need quick ways to keep up with the news. I have five tips for you. I'm going to talk about setting up your own news directory, the Syracuse Twitter Wire, which will help you with social media, news map, morning news updates, and news podcasts. So first of all, what if you set up your own news directory? There's probably a number of sites that you'd like to go to regularly, and now, being a news journalist in Syracuse, some Syracuse and area sites you need to go to. Sure, you can bookmark them, and that works, but if you're like me, you've got a gazillion bookmarks and you don't have them organized, or you can put tabs on your browsers, which I've done. I have NCC News and the Post Standard for quick reference. But then I have to put these on every device that I use. My home computer, my office computer, can I put them on mobile? Let me tell you about something new called Symbaloo, which is a web page that actually has tiles and you click on any of these tiles and it links directly to that media outlet. So here you can have dozens of websites and you can actually make different pages. This happens to be the page I've made for news. So here's my Symbaloo, and it's one of what's called a web mix. I have several tabs, and you see I have it organized with various categories. So let's say I wanted to add another professional organization to this place right here, which is called a tile. All I do is simply click on it. Up comes this title. I edit the title. I know the address is http colon RCFP for Reporters Committee on Freedom of the Press. I can put a title in, Reporters, oh, there it comes. And if you noticed, it found a logo. If I click Show Text, it will actually show what I've typed here. But I'm just going to choose that icon and then save it. And here it is. Easy as that. So you can make your own web mix and several web mixes, or there's directions on the handout accompanying this unit that tells you how you could just copy over this web mix if you happen to like mine. My second tip is to use the Syracuse Twitter wire that I've set up off of my Twitter account, Ready Reporter. And it is about 50 to 60 different newsmakers, including some of the local news media. And here you see some examples of some of the different kinds of things that are on there. It's great for finding stories and for keeping up with what other media are reporting or what public relations people or other organizations in town say is happening. You can subscribe to this Twitter wire and then have it right in your TweetDeck or Hootsuite or on your Twitter feed. A third option for keeping up with the news, and I really like this one, is News Map. It's actually a visual representation of what's on Google News right now. And if you notice, at the bottom right is the key. The red is world, you've got the economy, and look at the blue, sports fans. That blue color, which is now in the upper right, is all sports. If you just click on that lower right blue tab that says sports, here's what you'll get. And if you click on any one of these blocks, then it takes you to one of the stories. So again, a quick way to read in for the day. My fourth tip, when you get up, you want some quick references about what's going on. The Associated Press has 10 things to know for today. Okay, it's Rihanna. AP probably put it on there to grab your attention. So did I. But it's helpful to know what are 10 top stories, at least according to the AP. Well-written, short, and concise. Another quirky one, written for 20-something professional women, is called The Skim, which has a little attitude, but also gives you a little in-depth background on some of the key things that are happening this day. So those are my two best morning news wake-up reads. And last, my fifth tip is think about doing a news podcast. For example, you're running late, you have to walk over to Newhouse. You could just, if you have an iPod or a smartphone, you could just have a podcast right there. And as you're walking, listen to, for example, the 7 a.m. news. Or any time during the day, you can listen to podcasts from Last Night's News with Diane Sawyer or any other favorite program that you have. 
So quickly to summarize, five quick ways to keep up on the news. Make your own directory with Symbaloo or use some kind of bookmarking so you have everything right together. And if it's easy to use, you'll use it. Subscribe to the Syracuse Twitter Wire to find out what's on Twitter from organizations around Syracuse and from media outlets and newsmakers. Check NewsMap. It's a visual representation of Google News. There's a couple good morning news updates I've given you. And think about doing some podcasts as you're walking to and fro around campus. So here's a hint. Be prepared. I gave these questions to your professor, so he or she might ask you these in the next class. Could you find a couple stories for NCC News Today using at least two of these tools? How do we vet whether what we read is really correct online? And what are ethical issues about following the crowd with our story ideas? Okay, that's it for JTools. Hope this was helpful, and please go back to the website for more resources.